Ooh. Hello. I like to start early so I can make sure all my stuff works. I will probably never be so confident that I can just dive into this with full confidence that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back! <laughs> okay, I have ears. I need my camera on, so okay, I'm going to switch to just my goofy face so that I can check my ears. Hello! Can y'all hear me? Oh, the sound is working. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. All right, let's see. Boop. Lights. Okay. Very good. So, let's see where to start. I am Kaya Folio. And I think the few of you that are already here know that, but I'm going to say it anyway because I put this on you YouTube later. Uh, so I am Kaya Folio and I am part of the team that makes the Girl Genius web comics and novels and a bunch of other things. Um, I am not part of the team that made this fine Girl Genius video game that you're about to see um, even more of, but you know, I'm one of the creators of the IP, so uh, so I guess I kind of count there. Uh, and I am having a wonderful time playing through this video game because um, it is based on my story and I absolutely love it that I get to wander around. And oh, that's fantastic. I, I still, um, so I, <laughs> uh, I'm still working out what all the subscriptions and things mean and do, and I, I clicked a button and got myself a goal. I had a goal, and I have reached the goal. I now have 620 followers. Yay! Uh, I don't really know what that's for, but I'm pretty sure that there are YouTube videos uh, that will tell me if I get around to watching them. Uh, oh, it means no ads. Oh, that is nice. Um, I don't think I, I haven't been deliberately putting on ads except for what I sit here and, and tell everybody about. Uh, but, um, hold on, I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to become short there. Uh, but uh, I don't know if Twitch does that. Like I said, I, I'm really not 100% hooked into the culture here on Twitch. So I'm still learning and it's very interesting, but I'm really swamped with a million other things. So. Um, I, I haven't quite got in. I have figured out how to do some emotes, though, so I, I see a, a mimoth up there at the top of chat, so honk, honk. Um, <laughs> so that makes me happy. But I still need to learn um, what, what all to do with all of those things. And uh, let's see, what have I been doing this week? I have been putting together girlgeniusart.com where I have been listing all <laughs> the thousands of original art pages that we have from the Girl Genius comics that we've been putting up for the last 20 years. And finally, I'm getting around to going, oh, yeah, I guess we should sell some of those. Whee! So I'm making a catalog. And um, and that's that's been exciting. Uh, and it's a lot of work. And uh, some of it is making me cringe really hard because... Um, Oh, yeah, how big are the pages? That's right, we do have pictures of Phil. Um, we go down and we take pictures. Um, we'll, Phil will have two stacks, the stack of pictures that we've already taken a photo of and the stack of pictures that we have not taken a photo of. And he will pick one up and he will hold it and I will go click and he'll swap out, click, swap out, click, and it just goes on and on like that. Uh, because there are so many of them. So I've been putting them up um, book by book, and I have just this morning got volume five up, um, and, and it's uh, it's pretty wild. I've discovered, uh, although I didn't do it on purpose, I, I discovered that having Phil wear a different funny hat for each volume is actually a really, really useful organizational tool, because it means that it, I can, at a glance, I can say, oh, he's wearing the boater hat that means that this is volume five okay good um you know oh he's wearing the the bear suit 
<laughs> that means that he's um, that this is volume one. Actually, there's only one page of volume one left. So last call to see Phil wearing a funny bear suit. Although maybe I'll recycle it after that because it really is funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, do not ask why we have all these stupid costumes lying around the house. Um, it turns out Sparks are not the only people who are like balloon bees and will expand to fill any available space. Cartoonists do the same thing. Uh, we bought a house big enough to hold us, our children, and our, um, our business. And back when we had um, Wizards of the Coast money from the Magic the Gathering cards and... So now we have filled it to the brim with crap, and I'm having to go through and say, no, do we really need all this stuff? Ah! So at some point on the art site, I will start selling weird curiosities that we've got lying around the house, too, like maybe some of the old costume things. Woohoo! Yeah. Actually, now would really be the time, wouldn't it? So what time is it? Oh, it's 6.01. I should be playing the game by now. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um... That's really all the news this week. Um, oh, no, there's one more thing. Hey, Phil! Br bring me your award! Bring, bring me your award! I, I, geez, like, ten minutes ago I was wandering around Phil's office going, Oh, what, what can I, like, hold up and show people tonight to make it interesting? Um... But I, okay, he's going to take a while. Uh, oh, I know what else I have. I have. So Phil and I just celebrated our 30-year wedding anniversary. Uh, we have been married for 30 years. Yay. And uh, because we were dead broke, we got each other really stupid things. Uh, Phil got a stack of books, and I got um, a box of chocolates and a, a lovely skeletal frog complete with lovely skeletal webbing. Uh, oh, hello. You, you're here. Okay, there we go. He's, he's a very, very anatomically correct frog. We, we all know that they have little web bones. Uh, I love my frog. So, there we go. Um, okay, hey, hand me your, hand me your award. All right. Ooh, look at that. So this is, this is Phil's um, Reuben Award. Look at that. Ooh, it's, um, it's a Reuben Award from the National Cartoonist Society, and it is for best online comics long form for girl genius and um, we're very excited about it it's very cool and it has little naked people drawn by rube goldberg all over it which makes it especially good so there they are yay there we go there you go thank you dear wealth and power will now be ours oh yeah any minute <laughs> right so uh all right i guess i should get started on this game I know, but we did actually go and get the things, and we did make Reuben sandwiches when we found out. So, the the week we found out, I was like, "You won a you won a Reuben award." I'm, I'm hungry, so and uh, there's it's always it is always a good time for a Reuben sandwich. They make me think of my grandma. My grandma always used to order Reuben sandwiches. All right, so let me. Remember to click to the main game properly this time, unlike a couple of weeks ago when I totally messed up. And I can get started here. <laughs> wow! That's loud again. I've been watching. And we have birds. Ta da! Birds. We have a functional waterfall. Very good. Um, and we definitely want my sound turned just a little squash down there we go okay cool and i as always am playing with my my little red xbox controller because the uh the red ones go faster and uh let's see is it actually functional yes all right no don't be silly birds aren't real anyway um yeah so, uh, again, I haven't played since last week, so I left it right where we all left it last time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. And we are in the red playroom, and I've been playing for 10 hours and 44 minutes. Oh my god. Ah, that's right. That is no, never a bad time for a Reuben sandwich. Ah. 
Here we go. So the Dingbot is not destroyed when you recall him. He is simply rejoining the universe before reassembling in your pocket. And we do have the Dingbot. As always, the Dingbot has joined us. Oh, hello. So there we go. He sits on my desk. One of these days I'll figure out how to get him to light up again. Ah, all right, so we're in the red playroom and we have blasted a hole in the wall. Oh no, sorry, Castle. And everybody's got something to say. Um, so I guess we'd better find out what, <laughs> I guess we better find out what they, uh, oh, I love that people use the, uh, the emotes. That makes me happy. I, um, I found a, a YouTube tutorial about how to make cute little animated um, emotes and discovered that A, animation is hard, and B, I need a little more time to learn. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead, I'll keep your servants in line while you're gone. Oh, cross your scary teeth. Oh. <laughs> No, we've, we've got the lads on the slab. Very good. I promise you'll be back. I don't know how to handle all of this. Oh, I, I love this drawing. I like the sprite here of Gil. He looks very good. Um, let's see. Urgh, I know it's useless asking you not to worry, but I'll be fine. Hmm. All right. I'll keep an eye on the fools. Be safe. No way I'm going deeper into the castle, but give it a kick for me if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm sure the castle heard that. That's probably not a good idea. Um, oh, oh, okay. We got this door open last time. Um, oh, and I'm out of coffee. Oh, I'm so out of coffee. This one is called The Cat is Judging You. Yes, it is. And the cat is, in fact, judging you. Uh, let's see. Was There was a, a workbench around here, wasn't there? Before I go any further into the castle, I should... There was a workbench. I know there was. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, heck, we'll just go back to the hub. Moloch, meet me back at the hub. I have some science to perpetrate. Um, hmm. Oh, this isn't... Good. Oh, oh, it's in the observatory? Yeah, that's... Well, let's see. I'll go back to the hub. I think... I think I've pretty much done everything else. Um, oh, and I should check. I should also check and see, do I have any... No, I do not have any artifacts to turn in. Well, all right then. Yeah, the Moloch has, has very loyally come back, and we, we filled up with coffee. Um, okay, I don't have enough for that. Don't have enough for that. I don't have... All right, I'm, I am poor and must go find more materials with which to build. Fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's everything I can do in this area right now. All right, we'll go back to the red corridors. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Maybe that's why Moloch is following us all through the castle. Hmm. All right, back downstairs. <laughs> I'm a little out of the groove since I haven't played all week. All I've been doing all week is uploading uploading art uh, and makes my eyes a little spinny after a while. Uh, uh, I do like this music. Hmm. This is once again where I mentioned Baron Cat who did the music for the game and uh, I have a link to their Bandcamp page down on the Twitch, um, in the little Twitch links. Um, 
I only have a, a certain number of Twitch links I can put in, so I'll probably swap that out at some point. But um, but for now, I'm like, ah, oh, listen to this lovely, lovely music. So artifacts can be traded to upgrade your general constitution, or you could save them in the vein, hope that their value will increase in a decade or so. Who knows? Probably won't. I think we should spend them. Oh, here we are. Oh, off to a great start. I don't suppose you've got enough juice left to clear this rubble. Uh, the removal of rubble is not within my programmed tasks, and relax, I'll handle it. I should find a workbench. I've wanted to try this for a while. Oh, okay, and we have a moment of inspiration. Um, the blueprint for the boom clank. Oh, uh, yes. So the boom clank. <laughs> hmm. So, all right, now I can go find a workbench, which I guess I, I just did that. I just did that, but now I, I know it is time to go back. Oh no, it's happening again. I'm getting all lightheaded. The first several times I streamed, I didn't have this at all, and now I'm getting this weird, um, like, rush of stage fright, right, be like, an hour before it's time to, to go. I don't know why. All right, this time we will go to the, um, yeah, this time we'll go to the observatory. the observatory. Oh, wait a minute. Ah! Okay, I guess I'd better deal with those little guys. Ha! Take that. Oh, no! Well, I guess it's nice that they all come back. So it lets me uh, lets me grind for some materials a little bit. It is a boom clank, and it does go boom, and it's pretty great too. I really like the boom clank. So the first time uh, that I played through, I didn't know the boom clank existed, and so I did the whole. Um, there's that one achievement. What? Who's shooting at me? Oh, okay. See if it'll keep shooting at me while I'm in here. Here we go, boom clank. Um, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. So what is a bomb, really? Pressure released in a short amount of time? No, self-realization of something compressed, spreading its usually metaphorical wings. Well, it worked for those chickens. Or maybe, no, that would never work. I'm just going to put some of this stuff in that masochistic soccer ball. Masochistic soccer ball? What? Wait, all right, well, whatever. We've unlocked the boom clank and we're getting shot at. Um, all right, perhaps this wasn't the best place to come. Uh, let's go back. Mm, I want to go back to the hub. So. This might be as good a time as any to um, to diverge. Let's see if there's anything else. Mm, everything under control. Ah! Oh, no, missing resources. Explosive encouragement. It almost feels embarrassing when a single bomb is not enough to annihilate your target. Maybe I should add some extra juice. Or... Uh, the fragrant canister. You're steadily getting more and more enemies. Would be nice if you could catch more in a single blast. Birds and stones and such. All right, those are both upgrades that I cannot, in fact, afford right now. Darn. So, uh, we will... Let's just top off the coffee. Come on. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Masochistic sports equipment. Well, it has, um, 
I think we established that the castle is getting a gymnasium because it thinks it's some form of torture chamber, which tells you a lot more about us. So, uh, if I remember right, I can't get there from here. Fine. Um, <sighs> Alright, let's go do some puzzles. Do I want to go do some puzzles? I have a couple of things available to me now. And one is I could go down that, that hole that just opened in the basement of the castle. Or I can go back to something I saw earlier. And I think I do want to do that. Mm. Okay. This is a really big, a really big, um, mm, how do I say? Not, it's not a shortcut, it's a, but it is sort of a, a detour. But I'm going to do it. I'm going, you know, it, it, I, it's either now or later, so I might as well do it now, because I think I want what you get. Yeah, there is no good time to do what I'm about to do. Um, I had the best time doing it the first time. I think this is going to be embarrassing, though, because I think um, it's going to be a lot of klutzing around. Going all the way back to the beginning, and yes, I'm breaking everything I see because I like to break all the things. So the other, um, I think like two weeks ago or something, I started talking about critters that um, I didn't know we had in Seattle, but I've recently discovered. And the first is one that um, somebody in the Seattle subreddit was talking about some kind of creature that was living in their backyard. And it turned out to be, it's called a mountain beaver. And we just, we have them, like literally there could be one living in my backyard right now. There isn't as far as I know, but there could be. They live, they live in my neighborhood and they just look like little gophers. They, they don't really, I look at them and I don't think, oh, beaver, but they're these funny little creatures and they live in little burrows and they're really, really cute. And, and I had no clue that this, I mean, you know, an entire childhood of roaming the fields out in Duval. And uh, I, I spent a lot of my childhood roaming around uh, in the woods up on Novelty Hill. And you no, know, I never saw these things. I never heard of one. I never, I never had a clue they were out there. So there's one little creature that, that is a native creature that I didn't know existed. And then the other one that surprised me, I'm just pouring myself some water. The other thing that surprised me, and this was a few years ago now, actually, but um, my kid and I went out of the house and it was night and I had a candle burning in an upstairs window and this huge creature was buzzing against the window and making the most unholy buzzing noise. And I thought, good Lord, what is that? It's terrifying. And I, I said, I was like, Victor, get, just get in the car. And I went back inside and I went upstairs. <laughs> All right, so here we are um, in this room again. And now we're going to find out uh, the saga of these guys. And then I'll keep telling you about my terrifying experience. Um, it really wasn't that terrifying, but it was spooky. If you don't know what you're looking at, it was creepy as hell. 
Um, all right, so first of all, here's a guy, some dead dude. Uh, Curse Faustus didn't even have the decency to properly reinforce the archway. The rockfall got my leg. No way I'm making it back up all those stairs. I hope Jacob made it through. If he can't fetch help, at least he can rob the old codger for everything he's got. All right, well, sorry, man. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I saw something. Um, I was I was trying to do a little bit of learning about Twitch culture, and uh, I saw something about, like, oh, you have to say hi when you join chat, and I'm like, oh, I had no idea. I didn't know this. So if I ever join somebody else's chat, I'll know that, um, that I need to do that, I guess. I really do need to find some YouTube stuff that talks about, like, here's how to actually do a, a Twitch stream and be civilized, because right now I'm an absolute barbarian just wandering in and going, well, I don't know. Uh, hello! Thank you for joining us! Alright, so let's, um, first of all, I'm going to try to hit it with my wrench, and it doesn't work no matter how much you hit it, and I did spend some time trying to see if I could clip through it at one point, uh, and the answer is, if you can, oh, hello! <laughs> oh, I'm glad somebody's been watching the videos! I figured out how to upload them to, um, to YouTube recently, although I also, I think Twitch likes us to wait a while, and I did notice that I did something weird with the naming, so I'm going to have to go back and check everything and make sure that I have them all named in the right sequence. <laughs> um, right, so anyway, obviously, um, if you can clip through these, I have not figured out how, uh, but I'm pretty sure that we are supposed to use this, the boom clank. And uh, so let's use the boom clank and we'll just set it down and ouch. Oh yeah, if you set the boom clank um, down too close to a wall, it will go off right away and hurt you. Uh, so, uh, so here we go. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's called the square cube block. Super. So, now we're in this area underneath the castle, and I love it down here because I like to explore. And I will admit that I really like things that give me a hard time in games, so, so this, this definitely gave me a hard time. Um, what's, what is that? Does it have an eyeball? Is it looking at me? That thing is looking at me. That's looking at me, too. You know what those remind me of is um, the the little things in Legend of Zelda that, that the I beam critters. Uh, you'd think with the, oh, there's there's a goodie basket up there. All right. So anyway, while I solve this puzzle, I will keep telling you about the spooky creature that that alarmed me a few years ago. Uh, and again, the sort of thing that you would think I would have run into after years of of roaming around in the fields and woods back, you know, when I was a kid. But no. Um, so, so I get upstairs and I get a look at this thing full in the face because it really wants that candle that's in the window. And, and I'm like, ha! <laughs> you know? and, and I blew out the candle and shut the curtains because I, I was kind of freaking out. Uh, and I, I went down and I, I got in the car and I, we, we went to do, I think what we were doing was feeding my mom's cats, which is why we were going late at night and, and coming home because she was off um, on a trip. And, and I get home and I, and I did a, a Google search for thing that looks like a hummingbird but isn't a hummingbird. <laughs> And yes, there is a thing called a hummingbird moth, and it looks like a hummingbird, and it's freaking huge. And yeah, again, it's a totally normal thing to see in Seattle. What's my problem? And the, the answer is I have no idea what my problem is. I had just never seen one. Uh, but it spooked the heck out of me. Uh, so here we have uh, a place that I can't go and a place that I want to get. Mm, so I'm going to start with one of the... Oh, that's a useful thing to know. Um, mm, let's see. Uh, 
First of all, let's see if I rip. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. Um, let's see if my. Okay, so my wrencherang. The wrencherang does nothing except look really cool. I'm just gonna play with it a little bit. Wee wrencherang. Okay, uh, so the wrencherang is flying over the top of it because it goes straight across. And um, so next we have. So this actually makes me, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so I will admit, I, I thought it was absolutely delightful that there are things still in the world that I don't, that I didn't know about. And that, um, I, I don't know, it just, it was so creepy <laughs> to be looking at something that I had no concept of. Okay, that was the wrong thing to do. How do I do this again? Oh yeah, okay, it's like that. Um, all right, let's aim. No, oh, all right. There we go. Uh, I don't know. It was delightful and and spooky that there are still things to to discover. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, all right. Renterang still doesn't work. I can still try it now. It goes right over the top of them. <laughs> By the way, guys, I, I do not remember how to do this, so um, yeah, this may involve a little, a little gorfing around. Um, let's see. I have a pretty good idea. I just don't remember the details. Also, it makes me happy to have a reason to um, to use the chicken here. Yeah, this may take a little bit. Um, okay. Um, I think I want that one back. No, I do not want it back there. Um, the chicken cannon is, is very funny. Bee of the bird of the moth. That is... That is absolutely a They Might Be Giants song that I'm not familiar with. Um, but I'll admit, it's been a while since I've heard any of their stuff. Is it one of their ones from um, from their kids album? Uh, let's see. Can't go that way. So ideally what I want is I want one of those things down here. Yeah, an excuse to use the chicken cannon really is good. Um, okay, let's... And you'll see that I can't actually get there from here. I did try, but the electricity keeps me from, uh, from going over. I will also say that um, when I'm doing puzzles like this and talking, I'm double extra uh, slow. Uh, oh, that, that worked. That worked. Um, hmm. Okay. No, 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 that's not what I want. No, it's fine, it's fine. So now I'm wondering what other kind of critters do we have in my area that I should have run into when I was little and didn't. Uh, I mean, I think I probably harassed every kind of bird and rodent we had, for which I am sorry. Uh, 
I was definitely um, curious about all the critters, and so um, would catch anything I could, and um, I, I'm sure I was harmful to the um, harmful to the ecosystem. I... Okay. I don't know if this is going to do what I want it to, but let's find out. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. I didn't do it. Um, hmm. no. Oh, did I? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did it go? Haha! -ha! I did it! I did the thing! Okay. Uh, very curious whether my wrencher ring can get that thing. Aha! It can! Uh, I can't pick things up from a distance, though. Okay. I know why I think it should. Alright. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Cat rain! Don't have a, I don't have a cat. Oh, here we go. Here's a little crossed puppet. I will join the cat rave. Hold on. Hold on. Here's a little... Ah, wrong hand. There we go. Alright, bear with me. Mm. Yay! Here's a little crossed puppet that someone made us a long, long time ago. Cat rave! Cat rave! Yay! All right, enough of that nonsense. Uh, let's go back to the main game, yes. <laughs> the uh, cross pier. Oh, cross makes a very good Hugo cozy. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so I made it that far and now I can jump up here. I love these little multi-purpose um, Little multi-purpose, uh, what you call them. And I could, if I wanted to, get back down there, but I don't. Uh, and, but let's get this goodie basket. We want all this stuff. Oh, you have a cat. Hello, kitty. Good kitty. My cats don't like to come around when I'm streaming because I think I have something in my lap and I'm and I'm I'm talking and then they're like, oh, what what what's that? Uh, they do, however, like to come around when I'm trying to get work done and then they'll get in the way and try to get between me and the keyboard. Mm. All right, here we go. So when I first did this, I was just, I, I couldn't believe it. It just kept going. But I think I have everything I need for it now. I'm not sure. But I, I think, I think I do. Oh no, Twitch isn't working, hmm, I think. Well, I hope it isn't me. I have no way of knowing. Um, all right, let's, okay. But it looks like I am functional here. Good. Uh, all right, so I can get across. Um, and then there's some little side things. So that is a thing in oh, so many games. It is important to look behind you. Um, okay, I don't know what this is all about, but it's here. Uh, so many games, it's important to remember to look behind and see what's, what's over there. Is there anything I'm missing? Is it just, it's just beautiful fire effects? Ah. Oh, yeah, we can go up here. We can look at the chandelier and we can look down. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember how to do this one. So my cats, uh, my cats have a couple of counts against them. They're very nice cats, but 
they're dumb um, and some of it I think is they were taken away from their mama a little too soon which is uh, because they were uh, they were rescues and that is simply how it how it shook out um, and they came from under a barn so they're still convinced that everything wants to eat them I do not want to eat them but they think that um, everybody wants to eat them so mm, poor little idiots that they are uh, let's see okay uh, things, but I do have to reposition them an awful lot. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, um, anyway, that was like the only, um, oh, hello! <sighs> oh, you remember how to do it? Don't tell me, though, okay? I, I, um, so I still haven't cracked, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, the latest uh, Legend of Zelda game. Because I've been pretty busy. Uh, Phil's been playing it quietly when he... Oh, I did it wrong. Um, there we go. Uh, but I, I still have... So I know Phil is playing and I'm just like... Well, I, I just won't... This doesn't seem right. Hmm. No, this is definitely not right. I'm going to get it wrong. Hmm. No? Now I've got it into the corner. Um, all right, y'all have to bear with me on this one. I definitely don't remember what I'm doing. Oh, two, two, two. Two, 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 two. Let's try this. Let's see. If I... If I put that over there... Ah. Uh, what if I... This is going to be embarrassing. I'm just going to have to keep trying. So I haven't seen another um, another one of those weird moths, and I kind of I kind of want to. They're they're so weird and and cool. sense at all, does it? Hmm. Oh, no, it fell off. Lol, okay. I kind of like Twitch, though, because it's like, wow, this gives me an excuse. I mean, I could actually, like, play the games I want to play, and, um, Play the games that I want to play and do it here, and then oh, that won't work. Hmm. I've done that already. Hmm. Now that doesn't. That does not. I'm just going to keep saying it. This is just so much harder when I'm doing it on stream than when I do it back, or when I did it by myself. When I did it by myself, I just did it. I didn't think about it, which is the problem. I didn't think about it, and now I'm like, oh. Okay, so I can put that over there, but that doesn't do me any good. 
Oh, heck, let's just try it. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I was overthinking it. Um, okay. this down there. And is that safe? Yeah, all right. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, I... I have one squishable. I've bought a few though. Um, he's downstairs though. I have Mr. Supervisor, and Mr. Supervisor is um, is my little uh, my little moth. That uh, no, he's not a moth. He's like a little forest. I think they called it Forest Demon. And I ordered. I pre-ordered it, and then didn't really remember that I had pre-ordered it. Um, so... Hmm. Oh, for goodness sake. I pre-ordered it and didn't remember that I had, and so, um... When it came, I was in the middle of fulfilling a Kickstarter, and uh... <sighs> oh, well, so it became Mr. Supervisor. I don't know if I need this. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need over there, so I'm just going to try to get as many as I can. Mm. Yeah, I am going to need another one. Uh... Oh, it's, um... He isn't a dragon, but um, he's a little... He's very cute, but they do have dragons. They've got a whole lot of really nice ones. They've also got um, oh, the the little wolves that um, swallow the sun and moon uh, during Ragnarok, and they're very cute. And only the fact that I do not need more plush toys kept me from getting them. Uh, so, do I, can I, if I go there, then that's a problem. If I go there, hmm. well, let's see what I can do. Okay, so that won't do. I still need another one. How am I going to do this? Oh yeah, the Plague Doctor is so good. I, I got those ones for my, um... For my kid and one of our friend's kids back, um, 
for holiday presents back when COVID was new. Um, this is... Hmm. Oh no, no, let's not do that. Um, I might be out of lucko here. Where does this one go? Goes there. Hmm. Let's see. If it goes there and then there. good at all, does it? Oh, this is silly. I might have to, I hope I don't have to restart. I am extremely reluctant to restart. Hmm. What if I put this one here and then all the way over here? Hmm. That's no good though. I don't want to do that. Mm. Yeah, my kid um, used to uh, <clears throat> put on his um, plague doctor outfit and go wandering around uh, down to the. He would go down to the. Um, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try. Haha! Um. -ha. Ooh! That was nice. Whoop! Uh oh, let me see. Um, let me just check chat here and make sure it isn't. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to say crappy. <laughs> Honestly, sorry about my settings. Yes, I still have my settings like that. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. All right. Boing, boing. After this, I'll take a little break and I'll go get Mr. Supervisor. Um, let's see. Come on. Oh. Um, I'm really reluctant to get myself into it. Well, it won't let me. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, watch this. This will be funny. Boing, boing, boing. There. Very good. I don't know. Oh. Oh, I think um, that platform up there, I think I could have probably used it to make my life a little easier. I'm not sure. Oh, and what's this? What's this? Um, the bouncy staircase was fun. Way back is blocked. But I think I heard Tristan on the other side. He'll find a way to clear the rocks by the time I'm back. It means it's up to me to find the old man's treasure. I'll find something nice for Tristan. Something that brings out his eyes. Oh no. This makes me sad. I don't think our friends made it out. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? I'm going to take a little break and I will, I will go get Mr. Supervisor so you can see um, my my uh, squishable that is, is mine. My kids have a bunch of them, but I have my own. Hang on just a second. I will pause and we will have a mammoth interlude. Yay!
All right. I don't know if anybody can hear me. I don't remember if this particular setting on OBS has the mic or not. Uh, wait, no, just my goofy face. There we go. All right, I am back. Oh my gosh, my packing area is like an absolute fortress of despair down there. I've got packing materials everywhere, like stacks of boxes. <laughs> oh, wow. So this, here we go. Here is the squishable. This is Mr. Supervisor. This is my, my little guy that arrived when um, I was busy fulfilling the last Kickstarter and absolutely made my day. Um, I, it's, I think they listed it as a forest demon or a dragon or somebody like that, but he's just so cute and he is with his little, his little skull face. <laughs> and, and I love it. So, so this one gets pride of place when I'm packing and I guess he can, um, he can, I don't know where to put him now. I've got too much stuff over here. He can sit on the on the pumpkin. I have I have pumpkins. Woo, there we go. Um, oh, and I found something else because um, the other thing that I did this week and I forgot to mention it uh, is I actually cleaned up uh, the page where I list all of our licensees and our, our vendors and the people that have Girl Genius, Girl Genius stuff that, um, that aren't us. And, and we have a few. Uh, and so um, I, I cleaned that up and I made it nice. And if you click on the shop link on the Girl Genius page, it'll take you to that page now where I have links to to all the folks, um, like the, the Girl Genius GURPS uh, RPG supplement, or all the video games, including this one, or uh, uh, some folks on Etsy. Uh, it, 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 there's just, there's some neat stuff out there. Here's one of the things that I think I showed this off a long time ago, but I'm gonna show it off again. Um, this is um, Kim Beaton, who did a bunch of work for Wizards of the Coast back in the day did a little um, a little 3d sculpture uh, you can download the pattern and and print your own little Agatha sculpture and, and she's very cool and she has her big wrench and, um, and I just I think it's wonderful Kim is she used to live up in Seattle uh, long long ago and now she lives down in New Zealand and does work for Weta uh, because she is in fact that good so. <laughs> Uh, whew, so let's see. Anyway, um, that's uh, my obligatory. I wanted to get that done. I've meant to get that done, the, the shop page uh, for all our vendors. I've meant to get that done like the last couple of holiday seasons to just kind of give them a boost. And the time just always kind of hits me like a tidal wave. But I actually um, caved and used a... a um, I mean, I'm using Squarespace for the shopping stuff, and it is easier than coding it myself. So um, that's that's all that. Um, so I will get back to the game. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else that I wanted to to talk about, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I can talk about it just as easily while I'm blundering through this um, this area. So now we know that we had at least two intrepid explorers trying to rob the Heterodyne treasury. Uh, and I am guessing that they didn't manage it since we saw a skeleton at the entry that nobody bothered to... Um, <laughs> nobody bothered to take away. Uh, so... We are in another area, and oh, I see lots of lots of things to do in here. I'm not sure where to go first or how. Um, I can't jump there. I think I would break my leg, but I can go this way. Uh, I'm glad people like Franz. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, Phil wants me to. So, um, oh, 
Phil wants me to do a set of chibi pins of um, Franz and his happy friends, uh, which begs the question what uh, a humongous in my... Uh, ah! Oh, right. I, I remember what happened in here. I had a very hard time getting through. All right. Um... Okay, so it is very cute, but a little hard to get a look at because it blows up very fast. Uh, okay, so there's some stuff I want to mess with, but let's go down here. I want to explore the whole area before I, okay, so I could just, I could just pop right through, but... But it's behind a gate. Hmm. All right, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, so I could just keep going forward, but where's the fun in that when I can see that there's something in this room that I probably want? Uh, <laughs> So if you're going to put them, let's see, let's see if I can get a look at, look at him. He's got a little face. He is just as bored as the, the dingbot. But if you try to get a look at the boom clank's face, you might go boom. And if you put him down wrong, right against a wall, it will, it will hurt you. Uh, so I'm trying to be very careful. Oh, I got a, I got a, a sprungity. Here we go. Let's take the sprungity. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. That works. Um, hmm. Okay. Again, this is an area I have solved this puzzle, but I've only done it once. It's probably a good plan. So these ladders, I can't climb the ladders. I didn't need to do that. I can hop back down. I, I think the, <laughs> I think that the, um, boom clank probably reconstitutes back, uh, back where it starts. It must, because I have an endless supply of them, which is pretty great, really. Mm, does... yes. The wrenching works. Okay, so now I'm up here. Very good. I can look down and I can see, okay, I, I guess this is just here so I can, I can look around and I can make my plans, but I think that putting that block down was the thing to do. Um, uh huh. so here we have a timed switch. All right, let's get a boom clank. Timed switch. Uh, um, all right, that did nothing. Uh, what if I do this? Mm. Oh. Did I get it? I did. I totally did. Oh, wow. I feel so pleased with myself. That took me a lot longer when I first did it at first. I guess that's the benefit of doing stuff for the first time on stream is that you don't have to keep saying, Oh yeah, when I did this last time, it was really hard, uh, but this time it looked really easy, la la. Um, okay, wait, ah, oh, here we go. Boing, 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 right, there, there's my last boing. But was there anything I wanted? Was there, was there anything to get? I don't think there was, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any, uh, any goodie baskets. 
Oh, here we are. Okay. There's a lot going on in here. This might be toward the end. Yeah, I think this is toward the end. And again, I will say, when I did this the first time, I did it the hard way. Oh, here's some notes. What does it say? The way hasn't been easy. I wonder if I'll even be able to carry any of the treasure back out. I'm beginning to think this was all a huge mistake. And where are all the man-eating machines? This just feels like someone is toying with me. Maybe I should just wait for Tristan to catch up. Oh, good luck with that. I think that was Tristan we found back there. Um, okay. Um, so this is where we came in. In, I believe. Yes, this is where we came in. And I know there's something over there, but let's go check over here. I just, I like to look around. Hmm. What is. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Nothing to drop, nothing to do. I guess the other way is the way I need to go. Ominous music. What's that? Is that? I want to look at the map. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so clumsy with the map. Hmm. Well. Oh, that's where we were. All right. Oh, look at all the map we've filled in. It's looking pretty good. It really does look like there should be a, a happy, a happy fun rock. That I mean, I almost think that looks like the happy fun rock down there. Like maybe it's already been through. Uh, okay. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, this. All right. I definitely did this the hard way first time. I was very stubborn. I saw those rocks down there and I just kept um, golfing away at it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, all right, well now I know better. Now I know I can, I can go up here. And I see that there is a platform over there. So I'm not going to mess around this time with trying to uh, boing. I'm not going to mess around with trying to do it the hard way. I'm going to do it proper like. Is this proper like? Yes, this is proper like. Chantoshimas. There's this nice rug up here that is so, this, uh, I didn't come up here um, until I had, uh, until I had uh, already broken those rocks before. Oh, it's still hard. Well, I'm pretty, there we go, I got one. I am, I am convinced that the um, rug here is is meant to be like, hey, go stand on this. Although you'll see, I'm still a little clumsy with it. The last time I was really good with the controls to the point where I could put something anywhere I wanted to like this, there we go, I got it, um, was Ocarina of Time. Oh, and Majora's Mask, too, um, where there were these shooting galleries where you would you'd start out and you would have the shooting gallery with the, the slingshot and then you'd have the shooting gallery with the bow. And, um, and I was so good at those on the Nintendo 64 
And then once it switched to the GameCube, I could never, I could never do them properly again. I mean, I can still kind of do them, but all right, let's, let's, I'm, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to go back up to the rug that shows me exactly the, the nice way to land this. This is a little, I mean, like I said, I, I spent probably a half an hour doing it from down below before. I won't do that to you guys. All right. I'm pokey enough. I'm pokey enough with what I'm doing without doing this one the hard way. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, it did not just fall down. Did it? No. Uh, huh. Well, let's go down and see what I just did. Send it off of the edge? Huh. Oh no, it's good. It's all good. There we go. question becomes, and I want to be up here because, wait a minute, what, what was the point of this? Hmm. Ah, there's a moth in my office. Right. Hmm. I love that bedoing. I mean, even though it's the noise that means that I'm not able to do the thing I'm trying to do. There we go. Aha! It's an artifact. It is the silver stake and we have found some lore. That's our, our first lore of, of today. Uh, let's see what the lore is. Ooh, we have lots of lore. I must have skipped some last time. Tarvex Sturmvaraus. Oh, come on. Surely we read this already. The secret heir to the Storm King, an ancient and feared ruler in Europa. His family hopes to use this lineage to regain power and topple the Wolfenbach Empire, a plan known as the Storm King Conspiracy. Mm. Tarvek first met Agatha when she was traveling through Sturmhalton. Tarvek's father then recognized her as the daughter of Lucretia Monkfish. This changed their plans. They kidnapped Agatha and placed her in a machine that would use her body as a host for Lucretia's consciousness. Tarvac had his own plans and had already fallen for Agatha because she's just that amazing. Um, do -ba -do -ba -do, very soon, very soon. All plans quickly crumbled when Baron Wolfenbach arrived in Sturmhalten. Tarvac was wounded when Agatha, possessed by Lucretia, shot him in the back. Agatha still managed to escape Sturmhalten, and Tarvek was brought to the Mechanicsburg Hospital. He continues to care for Agatha and wishes to help her regain autonom autom autonomy. Autonomy. I can talk. Autonomy. <laughs> I want to say automaton. Tarvek wants to regain the automatons. He wishes to help Agatha retain her autonomy. <laughs> Blah! She has also shown interest in him, but he is hard to trust. 
Tarvik and Gil. Oh, I see. We added to it. They were both schooled alongside with other noble children on Castle Wolfenbach. They became fast friends, but were both too curious and bright for their own good. Gil did not know the true identity of his parents, as the Baron had kept this secret to keep him safe. The boys almost unveiled this conspiracy, but were stopped by the Baron. Tarvik was expelled from the castle and came to resent Gil as he was allowed to remain. They met again as students in Paris, and their opinions of each other only decreased. Tarvik was a prim and cultured student, while Gil was a brazen and noisy adventurer. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically, yeah. That's, wow. Could you have put that better? No. Uh, it is a delicious irony that Tarvik was raised to usurp the Wolfenbach Empire while not knowing that Gilgamesh, his former friend, is its rightful heir. Although I will say that the Wolfenbach Empire is not particularly rightful, but who cares? Um, yeah. Let's see. Gilgamesh Wolfenbach, the son of Klaus Wolfenbach, uh, recently the de facto ruler of Europa, currently in a condition not very fit to rule, making Gilgamesh the surprised substitute ruler. Oh, I see. The Baron is not very fit to rule. He is hopelessly involved with Agatha, whose feelings are... Okay, yeah, I, I read this already. I read this last week. Okay, oh, here we go. Gil and Tarvek. They were both schooled along with other noble children on Castle Wolfenbach. Uh, wait, I just read this. Oh, okay. It's just that it's Gotcha. All right. Okay. We are, we are up to date. Mm, let's see. Yeah, it, it does make sense that it's both of theirs. So let's see what else. The story so far. Oh no, we have more of this. Oh my gosh. This, this game has homework. Um, Okay, chapter seven. The Seneschal tells the story of what happened to the castle, the attack of the other. But first, Agatha must understand, Castle Heterodyne is no ordinary castle. It is a thinking creature, a monster of metal and lightning, a creature of the Heterodynes. Almost 18 years ago, the castle was attacked and its mind was fractured. This was the start of the Great War of the Other. The Heterodyne boys left to fight, but never returned. Some researchers went into the castle. Months later, one assistant returned. By this time, the town was under Wolfenbach's protection. The castle kept the researchers as hostages and forced them to conduct repairs. They had finally run out of food. The Baron negotiated with the castle. The researchers were released, and he used the castle as a punishment detail, sending tools, materials, and food. It's been going on for years, but progress is negligible. As previously mentioned, its mind is fractured. It is mad and will contradict itself. Only a scarce few make it out alive. It needs someone to take charge. It needs a heterodyne. The Seneschal looks significantly at Agatha. Is she right for the task? The ground shakes. There are troops marching on the gates of Mechanicsburg. They are not the barons. <laughs> possessive there. Opportunists, power-hungry pretenders and madmen, here to seize the vacuum created by a wounded Wolfenbach and the confusion of a rumored heterodyne. More are coming. The city will become a battleground. Agatha does not hesitate. This is her fight now. The Seneschal can sneak her into the castle, but she must go alone. Zetha and Crosp are staying in the city to help in any way they can by eating all the waffles they can find. Agatha's goal is simple. Go to the castle's library. There she'll find a map, a blueprint to repair it. Only with the castle repaired does the town stand a chance, and only within the castle is she likely to find answers. To discover who she is, the castle gates open. Okay, cool. And then we have one more. Oh, and this is our artifacts. And we did just find an artifact. You're here to seize the vacuum. Oh my gosh. My, um, my, oh, 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 you're, you're talking about Amigurumi in the, in the, okay, you know what? One more, one more little uh, show and tell break. I have some cool Amigurumi. And unfortunately, I've left the name of the person who made it for me upstairs, but it's one of the folks in Australia. So thank you, nice Australian man who gave me this. I'm sorry, I, I don't have your name in front of me right now. It's been ages since I saw you. Let me just boop, click over here. Now, hold on. Here we go. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's a little Amigurumi Agatha. Yay! Um, let me get it in there. So she's 
got the little the little um the little power lantern and, and the little the little zappy stick Yo, it's so cool and um and her little doink up there made with glue she's very nice i've kept very good um i've taken very good care of her and um she's just down here because i i pulled all my stuffed toys out um and then here's a a very nice and you know i i feel like such a jerk because i have not got good records about where uh who gave me all these but here's a wasp eater Yay, he's a little Ami Gurumi wasp eater. Woo! Crunch, crunch. Uh, and somewhere in the house, oh, I'm sure there are more. Somewhere uh, there are also some dingbots, but they're not here. So I know that we gave the weasel wings. It's so silly. All right, let's go back to the game. Now that I've shown off my toys. Uh, where was I? Okay, I got the thing. Oh, right, lore. We had one more piece of lore. And it was the silver steak. Rented out to well-liked guests spending the night in the castle, it carries the strong scent of garlic. Guests were told to keep it within easy reach, as Valdemar had a habit of sleepwalking, as well as other nocturnal activities. The strong garlic odor had also also had the benefit, uh, the beneficial effect of clearing sinuses and disguising morning breath. Disgusting. No, disguising. I don't think it disguises a morning breath. I think it causes a morning breath. <laughs> I think it's a nasty. And Valdemar is the black heterodyne um, who uh, we named specifically for this game. And he's named after my great grandpa, whose name was Valdemar. And only the fact that he would have been my my oldest child would have been called Voldemort the entire uh, through his entire school years kept him from being named Voldemort, so he's Victor instead, which is marginally better. I'm just like, well, you're named after a famous scientist, dear. Uh, all right, so I think that's all of our um, all of our lovely artifacts, and now I'm going to have to go back to the castle, but I'm not go- Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Well, I, um, I didn't expect that. I wonder if I got to keep it, and I definitely wonder where the game is going to put me. Just uh, hang on a second, let me have a little coffee. Hmm. But yeah, we, um, okay, so Zola says, oh, that's how it ends. I had so much more planned. Well, um, all right, the course of European history has just, um, taken a strange little turn. Let's, let's go back and see where I end up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, way back here. Oh, all right. Well, um, I think that's everything I needed back there, though. I don't think there was anything else. Do I need anything else over there? I got the artifact. I think I'm good. I think I think I can. I think I can progress now. Uh, wait a minute. Let me make sure I have. Oh no! All right, I am not reading all of that again. I already did it. I already did it. I am not going to subject you all to it. Do we have... I have to go back and get the artifact. Oh, gosh. Oh. The game is laughing at me. Oh, no. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, no. Really? Really? Oh, no! The rocks are bad. Fine. 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 This, I guess, is... Um, okay, we read this already. We're not going to read it again. Um, uh, all right. Well, this time I know how to do it. So I'll just do it. 
Fine, I'll talk about something while I go. Let's see. I told I finally told you guys about the spooky wildlife of Seattle that I didn't know existed and how cute it is. So the thing about the um, the hummingbird moths is that they really are they're super pretty. They're they're very cool. Um, okay, can I affect that from here? Oh, it's going to make me go around and around. Um, I think I'm just causing the kitty pain. I'm like playing so badly that the cat is like, ah! All right. And just. I don't want to do that. I mean, it could, it could work. This is one of those cases where I'm like, I'm so lazy that I'm. Okay, that's fine. Alright, alright. Let's go back. <laughs> uh, crumble, 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 crumble. <sighs> okay. So, all right, there we go. Okay, very good. All right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, I, it's totally on purpose so that you can see the puzzle. This is so that Palming Pie can see the puzzle. Uh, and not because I completely messed up. Hmm. Hmm. All right. There we go. And since we have already read the lore, I will just clear it so that we don't accidentally read it again. Voldemort. Yeah, I was like, I right, let's let's give him a name. Hmm. Okay, now I have the artifact, and I get to keep it unless I die in another redonkulous way. Uh, let's see. I'm really looking forward to the new Zelda game. I, I haven't... Um, I've been trying really hard not to see any, um, not to see any spoilers. Now, were there any other goodies? I don't think so. I don't think in this area. I'm not sure, though. Hmm. Well. Oh. All right. Some stuff I can break. That's good. Oh, look, there's a... There's a save point up ahead, or a, 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 a travel point, fast travel. Oh no, oh no, it's our, it's another dead guy. Oh no. I can't believe this. There's a service elevator right next to the vault. Useless thing is broken though. No way to get me out. The vault door is right there, wide open. I'm done. I know a trap when I see one. Eat snails, Faustus. I'm staying right here. That doesn't seem like a good plan, dude. What was this guy's name? He had a name. This was... This was Ule or somebody. I, I, I can't remember his name. Alright, well, before I do anything... And I was really paranoid. I thought something was going to try to kill me. But I didn't. Alright, so here is the fast travel path. Look at that, it's wide open. Hmm. 
And here we are! Here we are in that place! Look up there, it's the floor that we were looking down through earlier. <laughs> So yes, there's all sorts of stuff in here. There are all the party favors. We really get rewarded for coming in here. We get so many party favors. Um, and it's all shiny, which as a World of Warcraft player makes me think everything, everything is sparkling. I'm like, ah, I have to be able to interact with it all, right? Okay, I think that's everything. Except the ding bo Oh, no, there's another Agatha one. All right. Now, let's send Dingbot. Because there are party favors for Dingbot, too. Ah, very good. I love that there's a, a shuffle. A shuffle so you can clean up your gold. Yay. Oh, so many of the blue light bulby thingies. I hope after this, I'll be able to do some more upgrades. It's very exciting. Hmm. This is kind of like my basement, except with less treasure. And now, one last goodie. And, uh-oh, I, I, I looked away, I looked at chat, and I didn't see what it was. It's something like the heart of the castle or something. Or No, it was the castle's cradle, right? Um, so let's take a look at the lore, because we got a little more. We got a little more lore. It should be a bard. The castle's cradle. This seemingly innocuous bauble is in fact the birthplace of the castle's intelligence. It's not certain how Faustus conceived of his creation, and none have been able to replicate it, though many have tried. It's not even certain Faustus can take all the credit for this feat. The castle was indeed intelligent, able to speak, plan, and even reshape itself. And in this manner it grew, with every generation of heterodynes and their expansions and adjustments to their ancestral home, the castle continued to change and evolve. It takes a village. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Amazing. Well, good we got a couple of art. So this was worth coming down here. Because first of all, you get to see that this was not just something taunting you from the floor. But also, um, you get you get loot. And you get, um, ooh, a lore. Ooh, we need a lore. We need a, a lore um, um, emoticon. What, what are they in this reaction image? Dubas thingy. Anyway, we need one. <laughs> I need to remember what they're called, but we need one. There, and now it has saved, so even if I go back upstairs. And I am not going back the long way, and I'm not even sure I can, to be honest. But, ooh, I'm going to break those again, though. Just because I want to. All right. Hmm. So this is our, our quick way back out. And we're going to go back to the hub because we're going to turn in those two artifacts <sighs> wow so I love that area I love going through it it's fun and uh, it went a lot faster this time I think I spent a couple of hours down there the first time wondering how long is this going to go <sighs> So let's turn in the artifacts. Hey, castle. Ah, oh, the self-satisfied grin of plunder. I assume you have artifacts for me, my lady. It's not plunder if it technically belongs to me. Let me have this, mistress. Sure. I bring forth the spoils of war! <laughs> okay, cool. So now I want to upgrade... 
Let's see, I already upgraded my spark power. I want my stamina. I got the health comes last. Health comes last. Let's see. That's we, we read these ones already. Where are the things that we haven't done yet? Mm. They, no, they must be in here. Yes, here it is. The castle's cradle. Are you admiring me? I don't blame you. Even in my most primitive state, I am still a marvel. But with your help, oh, the things I would do. <laughs> Great, what a good idea. Yeah. Um, let's see, have we looked at, yes, we have looked at the clockworks. We've looked at the clockwork serpent. The silver stake. The family never quite realized what made Valdemar so unnerving. They tried a lot of different things, but in the end, nothing truly repelled him. Still, it's enough for some to feel safe, even if they're not. Ooh, let's see. I think that's all the... Did, did we look at the clockwork snake? Oh, this one. You slither around my circuits. It felt weird. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, no, we hadn't read that one. That one, I, I love it. Rober's Hourglass. What's the story here? Ah, oh, that would belong to Rober. He used, to, he used to have a deep fascination with time and his perpendicular dimensions. He got over it and donated all his research to a cloister. So what did he discover? Best not to dwell on that. All right, I think we've read that one. I think we're all up to date. I like this one because it looks like you can wear it around your neck. Uh, let's see. And I like that this one has pride of place. It's very fancy, so pretty. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. The the. The auxiliary castle definitely, um, definitely sticks around. Mm. Because I think, um, so in my, I, I don't know, is it headcanon if it's my story? But, um, when they get back to the castle, the, 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 the little castle clank will absolutely be able to fold into the main castle, but it will still be able to be, um, a little... Like, like a way for the castle to travel with Agatha, which, which will be fun because then the castle will remember everything that, um, the castle will remember everything that it got to go do. It, it gets to have adventures. It's very nice. All right. So we have turned in our, our artifacts. Oh, oh, let's see. There was, I, I got, I got some stuff. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Hmm, I could upgrade the wrench array. Trying to mimic the flight of a boomerang, Agatha out of magnets, and a polarizing oppositional magnet field to her wrench. This caused the wrench to be inherently indecisive so that after it's thrown, it will neither fall nor rise. And after a certain distance, we'll think better of the whole and escapade and return to Agatha. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see, what happens if we upgrade? A fully charged throw consumes one energy and becomes electric, stunning en enemies. That sounds really nice, but kind of... Hmm. Ooh, let's see, the artifact resonator is nice, but I don't really need it right now. Um, oh, gosh. I really, really want that power module upgrade and I'm ten little blue things away from it. Mm, but I kind of want the better bombs too, so I'm going to put off. There, now my bombs are a little more effective. Mm. Mm, oh, what the heck. What the heck. Let's do it. Um, okay, so now we're going to try out the Artifact Resonator, because to be honest, I haven't really used it much, and so I'm not really, 
Um, oh no, I should have saved up for it. Oh well, I, I know I should have, but um, I'm, I'm not very smart sometimes. <laughs> uh, but now I have all this stuff. I kind of want to see how the artifact resonator works properly before I find all the artifacts, which I tend to do before I get it. <clears throat> so, uh, all right. All up to date. I think I've, I've maxed out the coffee engine. I've built everything I can. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if there was something in the kitchen that I could blow up now that... Oh, there is. There is. Look at that. Um, I thought there was. So let's... Um, Oh, I love this music. I don't know how these guys manage to read my mind so well and, and come up with things that are just the kind of thing I like, but they did. There, now I can get this treasure down here. Yay. I'm not sure if there was anything else that I wanted to blow up. Right. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to get back. Um. Okay. Let's see. So now you can see when we're in the map, or where, or the fast travel, we can run around and you can see where um, over to the right it says artifacts zero out of zero um, let's see and I think I've cleaned all the artifacts out of the areas oh no look in um, so in the arena oh yeah that one's hard to get yeah the artifact in the arena is hard to get. Hmm. Let's go to the arena. Yeah. Um, Alright, I am not going to uh, bash my head against getting the last artifact just yet, but I will do some of the things... Um, I will do some of the things uh, in here just to... Yeah! Ah, well, so much for getting that one. All right, so here's something nice. I can go back to retry challenge and I can start over. Um, and the reason that I just did that was A, to show you that I can, but also... Um, Oh, and I took damage again. Also to show you that, um, like, right now what I'm trying to do is not take any damage. Um, I'm trying not to take any damage, and so if I am doing the, the challenge where I, my, my direct um, goal is to not take any challenge, not take any damage, uh, like that... Uh, and I, I take some damage, there's no point in continuing, so I might as well start over. So that's quite nice, actually. Ugh. Mm. Uh, and, you know, probably it's smarter to come back, um and do this one when um, when my, I have upgraded the wrench a little bit, because... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, because otherwise... Oh, man. Uh, this is the hardest one for me. All right. 
I'll just finish this off. I don't think you want to watch me try to not take damage in here. I just realized that this is the one that, um, this is the last. So the no damage challenge on this level was the last um, challenge that I managed. Or, or was it this one? No, it was this one. No damage in this one was the last one. <sighs> oh, that's um, not a bad idea. Let, let me try that. Okay, so here's Projectile Party. And Projectile Party is a really hard one for me. Um, because these little guys are extremely... Um, uh, they're really, really feisty. And they hit me, especially in the final stage of this one. Ah, uh, see, he got me. Um, but that's alright. They're very cute, so that's a saving grace. Um, you can also use the, um, oh. you can also use the, um, uh, the, ah, the stingrays here to, um, to take out, alright, so, uh, I didn't get, oh, alright, so I didn't get either achievement in that one. Like I said, I'm not going to try anything other than first clear this time around, but I'll come back here every so often. There will be a point where this is the only thing left in the game, and uh, then I'll kind of have to come back and and uh, hammer away at it to get the last uh, uh, the last achievement. Oh right, we were going to try the uh, electric wrench ring. Uh, all right, well that, that works pretty well. Um, Oh no, not this guy. Oops, hell, I don't think he hurts his guys. I don't I don't think he hurts his little minions. Ugh. I hate it when he does that. I'm not very good at this. Oh. Oh, I got an achievement. I don't know what it was, but oh, okay. So again, no, uh, no goals on that one. But what was the achievement? Let's find out. Probably just killing a bunch of the, um, Find all the blueprints for your weapons and tools in Castle Heterodyne. I've done that already? Wow. All right. That's cool. Uh, all right, I have no idea which one I just got, but it was probably um, smacking down a bunch of... Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that is... Let's do Toxic Trist. I'll get through them all. to get the timer on this one, that's for sure. Uh. Right, I keep forgetting to use the wrench array. Alright, next one. Next one. Battery of shields. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's because I haven't encountered those guys yet. All right, fine. Let's go back to the red playroom. The red corridors. Hmm. All right, I've got boys on the slab. I forgot. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, they'll keep. Now. <laughs> I have to allow LMAO 
Yes. I hope I haven't been... <laughs> I hope I haven't been ignoring uh, things I should be letting through. All right. Oh, let me let me top up my coffee. <laughs> All right, here we go down the stairs and oh, this is definitely another big area. Time to set this boom clank to work on this rubble. Oh, all right, I suppose. This is a very explory area. And, um, ouch! Uh, and that happens to me a lot. Oh, there's some, some enemies over there. Um, to the point where I get lost down here. So, if I get lost down here, please Bear with me because I um, I do tend to tend to get a little turned around. Mm. Ah! Ugh. Okay. Well. Yes, this is this is down the new uh, the new corridor. Oh, this must be so embarrassing for you. A little bit. Also, I'm getting cold. I want to go close my windows. Oh my gosh, it put me all the way back here. Hang on a second. I'm going to go close my windows because I'm cold. Mm. It was too hot most of the day, and now it's cold again. <sighs> and it's been so nice. We've had some rain. <sighs> okay. There we go. <sighs> That's better. Mm. And get all comfy. <sighs> <sighs> Tidy up. Oh, okay, so I've got to use the bombs once again. But you know what? Since since you uh, just got back, um, this, uh, just for anybody who was missing, this is this area here, the new corridor, which has opened up. And now I have a bomb clank. Ah. <sighs> And I uh, guess I uh, have to go back. Hmm. I'm going to leave those rocks there for a minute just to remind myself that I haven't been that way yet. Yeah, yeah I have to go back and get the treasure. Again. Hey, I didn't know they could do that from there. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, great. Um. Okay. Come, come. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I have to walk back a little bit. Ouch. <sighs> hmm. Let's try this in the other direction. Well, I 
Six of them. Hmm. I wonder if this is the way I need to go. Ha! Alright, I'll break the shield. Ugh. Oh, that's better. Except I feel like I still hear somebody. Okay, so is this, that's where I came from, right? I think, I got a little turned around. And here's a bridge that I can't do anything about. And there's another stingray down there. So I want to be careful. Um, oh, and this is where I would have, no, no, this isn't where I would have gone. Okay. Hmm, I, I guess this is just the way I went back up. Excuse me a minute. Oh, it's Phil. Okay. My doorbell's making funny noises. Uh, there. Yeah, it's spooky music. My um, my doorbell has made spooky ghost noises all year because I um uh, I didn't reset it. I just like the creepy noises that it makes, so I leave it on. Oh, here's another goodie basket. And a switch. Ah, oh, that's that one I couldn't... Okay, so that is the way I want to go. But what else do we have here? There's some rocks to break down there. Um... All right, this is where those enemies were. There's some rocks. I, I like rocks. Oh, better get him. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Now, I have heard that the artifact resonator will glitter when there's a an artifact in the area, but I haven't actually tested that yet. There's also, like, wonderful little things tucked around all over the place um, in the in these underground areas that, like I said, I keep getting lost. I haven't been down here much, and there were a couple of times that I was annoying the, the devs going, I can't get through here, what's wrong? And it turns out, well, what was wrong was that I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, there's something down there, but I also want... Lots of things. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I think that's everything. I think this is just a secret little area. Uh. You are what you eat, so eat handsomely. And now I'm hot again. Uh, wow, what is this place? <laughs> Whoa, let's, I, I got the turns into Bill and or Ted. Whoa, dude. Gnarly. Uh, welcome to the great movement chamber, the source of the River Dime, the source of my power. You mean you're powered by water? Oh no, the Dime is far more than just water. Oh. Okay, but the water wheel is not turning. I assume that's why you're not generating any more power. I'll go deeper in. Maybe I can find the source of the problem. Alright. Where are we? This is nice down here. Hmm. Ooh, there's a backer portrait down there. Uh, uh oh. Um, hmm. What happens if I use it? Okay. 
I guess uh, not much. Hmm. First thing to do is get rid of the shield. Some of these guys have priorities, like uh, first do the shield, then. Oh, that's very pretty. What if I break it? Oh, nice. Hmm. I want to get back up there, though, because there was something I didn't quite get. Hmm. Oh, no, someone's shooting at me. Oh, there he is. Where did that one come from? Alright, alright. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. I'm going to go back up top. And... Yeah, very good. Very good. Great aim, Agatha. There. Hmm. Alright, so this is up here where I started. There's the wheel. And Alright, now I, I think I can go back downstairs without feeling like I'm missing anything. So here's one of our backers. Oh, goody basket. Alright. Castle Hedderdine Fruit Basket. Here's one of our backers whose port whose photograph we didn't get in time. And like I said before, we did pester people an awful lot. Mm. And then we got creative when uh, we didn't get them from some folks. So, aha! Experiments do sometimes provide fascinating results. Last sheriff of New Hong Kong, please contact Xtel for reanimation. Jake Monolin. Um, I, I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, I probably did. Um, and oh gosh, did you guys know? Okay, so so Buck Godot's Zap Gun for Hire is the uh, science fiction comic that Phil did back in the '80s, uh, with a little, and he also did uh, some in the '90s too. And the evil corporation in that is Xtel. And I lo I looked it up a while back. I was I was trying to do something, and I discovered there is actually a company now called Xtel. Probably not named after the one in Buck Godot, but it, it does, um, it's newer. Uh, the Buck Godot predates the, the actual Xtel, but um, yeah, that, uh, anyway, that, oh geez, did you see that? Did, did that kind of slow down for you guys? I think my graphics card is getting a little tired. Uh-oh, somebody's shooting at me again. Who is it? Ah! Oh no, two guys! Things to break, things to break, all the things to break. Oh, more, more party favors. It's so nice of the castles to leave all these components lying around for me. <laughs> you probably should, I mean, mostly. Okay, so we can go through there. But before I do... Oh, jeez, that sounded dangerous. This is an alarming noise. <laughs> seem to be hurting me. Um, whew. And this is also a good way for me to tell where have I been. Alright, this I have been here. Um, I'm hearing a funny noise and I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, uh, okay. So the downside to the... Okay. There. Woo! Man, I better... I better pay attention. I'm going to get another game over if I'm not careful. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the downside to the... Um, the death ray is it takes a minute to charge. So if I'm trying to... Oh. oh, geez, now I have to choose. Do I go through this way or do I go 
bet that that is the way forward and so in order to not skip anything important I'll go through this Some I didn't smash? Oh, okay, well I will I will try to get back to it in a minute. Um, I think maybe I chose incorrectly. Let's go back through the, the pipe and across the bridge and see. Oh, there are some I didn't smash. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's earlier I was... I hear a funny noise. I think it's an enemy in the far distance. Yeah, I hear some funny noise. Even after I was talking about, oh, you always have to look behind you. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, so there were two doors, two doors out of that room. Ooh, this is cozy. Wow, this is very cozy. What does it say? Oh no, someone down here has been reading Revenge of the Weasel Queen. Excerpt from Revenge of the Weasel Queen, book three, chapter two. Now they were determined to get that in here. Hadridine, taste justice, Weasel Queen. Your foul-smelling plans have come to a culinary end. Ferretina. What? Hadridine, I have surmised the power you hold over your minions is deployed through scent by feeding you copious amounts of garlic I've managed to. Ferretina, it's not based on scent. Hadridine, and thus flee, dark minions. You're free to go. Wait, they don't obey your fragrance? Of course not! I just offer free health insurance! Uh-oh. Oh no, Agatha, you're in trouble. I love these chairs, they're so pretty. I want them. I also want all the treasure. Okay, so here's another thing we can... Oh, what did that do? Oh, it opened... Okay. I wonder if that's the other end of that pipe. All right, I'm super confused. Oh, maybe this is, maybe I had to come this way. Let's see. All right, now I'm super curious. Let me just check this out. Is there any way off of this platform? Not really. Oh no, I could go down. Yeah, oh, oh, crikey, oh, okay. Oh yeah, no, I can get down. Here. I hate to get too far- oh, great. Um... Oh, boy. There was one- one playthrough where, um... Where I jumped in here. And, uh... I jumped off of, um, I think one of these, and I ended up clipped into the floor, and I had to, uh, put down, I had to blow myself up and die to, uh, to get out of the floor. I think they patched that, but it was really funny. Um, all right, so, uh, let's see, there's a lot down here. Okay, I think this is... Is this where I opened that 
Oh, I am so turned around. Um, let's see. Here, yeah, okay, this is where I came down. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. Uh, oh, geez, chicken. Oh, oh, mammoth hole. Let's be very thorough and blow up all the rocks. All right, let's see what the dingbot can do in here. Oh, it's just, it's a treasure chest. Very good. That was worth finding. It looks like I got a few of the, um, Thank you, Dingbot. Very good. Hmm. But what was that other tube back in the place where I was breaking stuff? Hmm. There was another door like this one that I feel like I've missed. And I really want to find out. Oh, I'll bet it was this. I'll bet it's a shortcut. Let's find out. Yes, it was a sh okay. So this is that other door. So I guess if I'd come through here, I would have found a, a bar, a barred gate that I couldn't get through. <laughs> oh no! I haven't had a chance to play Cyberpunk. It looks good. Um. Okay. Uh-oh, more guys. Oh no, I'm out of coffee. I better, uh, I better not mess around. She says, immediately messing around. All right. some rocks over there, so I think I'd better just break them on principle. Uh, Alright, so I can see that Dingbot is going to have to go on a little adventure for me. Let's put Dingbot down. It is Sergeant Hammersmith. Poof! I should have taken time to look at Sergeant Hammersmith. Oh no! Well, thank you, Calming Pie, for stopping in. <laughs> and I will be here for another probably 50 minutes or so. So you might make it home in time. Bye! Look at the camera, look at the camera. Bye! So there's kind of an old meme now about, um, about, uh, you know, I I'm sorry, this is crude. It's like if you, if you start dating a guy and, um, and you go, go to his place and he's got like three monitors and a rainbow light up key, uh, keyboard, then, then he's not worth dating or something. And here I am like looking when I first read that, looking at my three monitors and my rainbow light up keyboard. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I swear I'm not a neckbeard. Uh, I was insulted. Insulted, I say. I love my light up keyboard. Uh, I actually got my uh, the keyboard that I have specifically because I wanted one that felt like a, an old school keyboard with the 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 the, the springy old fashioned feel of the keys. Because when you're trying to write, if you don't have that, it's for me at least extremely uncomfortable. Uh, I write a lot better if I have a keyboard that feels like an old school keyboard with a, with a clicky click and. So uh, that happens to be the kind that lights up and does fancy rainbow tricks. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't 
do fancy rainbow tricks for this particular game, but I know that, for instance, um, if you're playing Overwatch or something with a keyboard, I have at one point, I, I, again, I don't even know if this is still something it does, but it used to be that it would light up in the colors of the character you're playing, which is ridiculous, but ridiculously cool. All right. Now, let's see if I can't remember how to use um, tutorials. We're gonna go back into the tutorials. Okay, it's it's X. Okay, I couldn't remember how to use the death ray. Um, uh, ha! Oh, jeez. Um, and me out of uh, and me out of uh, coffee. So I better stop messing around. I keep saying that, and then I I fail to uh, to play like a sensible person. Um, all right, I think I got everything. Let's check the map. Okay, no artifacts in here. Good, good. Let's just check all of the places I've been and see if I've missed any artifacts. Oh. I, I missed... I missed an artifact. Vault Path 4... Where's Vault Path 4? Wait, no, no. Ugh, clumsy fool. Okay, Vault Path 4, huh? Is that back where I just was? But I got the stake. You're right. But I got the stake. What did I miss? Oh, I have to go back. You're right, it is the place with the... What did I miss? Very cool, something to look for. Um, later. Uh, oh, oh, am I just an enormous dingbat? Is that what I'm getting here? Oh, okay, so I got it. Mm. Oh, look, there's some lore. There's some fodder. Fodder lore. The shield clank is quite unique among the other clanks in the castle. This is because it is not a, an original heterodyne design. The lack of hostile intent should already be an obvious indicator of this. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It was designed by Professor Gra Gravlax to be a babysitter for his 12 toddlers. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a lot of toddlers. The clank's ability to keep the children safe while still evading their incessant attempt at catching it piqued the interest of Iago Heterodyne. He noticed the children's frustration at the impossible chase and concluded that psychological warfare would be just as nefarious as simple bodily harm. He summarily stole the design and had it patented. Oh, these Heterodynes are villains. Oh, right, and then I was going to go back to the map and I was going to go to vault path four and yes you're right it it shows that i <laughs> all right all right i don't know where my head is but here's one oh and we're at the temple entrance but that's we're, we're right there here we are so that's fine um Oh, yes, and okay, yeah, it's, it is sparkling and pulsing. Look at the, look at the beautiful power lantern. It's doing a thing. I think I got the power lantern edition so late in the game last time that I didn't notice that it was doing that. And so, yeah, that's nice. It's like, hey, there's a thing in here. Don't, don't leave the, oh, yes, thank you. Um, let's, let's have some coffee. Let's have some coffee oh. Mm. Mm. oh god there's there's a skin on my coffee i usually drink my coffee black but i have this really terrible instant stuff that i got a while back that i'm working through because unlike the good kind it's actually in the house and therefore free 
And so I'm, I'm like actually putting cream and sugar in it because it's the only way it's bearable. Uh, looking forward to going back to my black coffee though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, that's what we need. We need a coffee emote. I'll make a coffee emote for next time. And a tea one, too, because I like tea. So. Yes. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's very pretty. So first, we just have to admire the room, which has a lot of stuff. Very nice. I don't know what these guys cooked for dinner, but my house smells really good. Right. The poem of the sun. At first there was light, fully woven and fully bright. But dusk was soon called as it precipitates the night. And from that nightly realm we found without a fright an early dawn profoundly called twilight. Oh, in that realm we found a path that took us back to Earth at last. Oh, joy, oh, joy, we laughed and hailed, for in this moment sunrise prevailed. And thus the moon was satisfied. But as the adept yet may see, often the truth ends in three. And as the suns gazed at the Earth, in Trinity we find rebirth. All right, now this is hilarious because this is actually a clue. <laughs> but... Like most things, I tend to kind of blunt force my way through everything. Ah, someone's attacking. Oh, there's 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 a captain over there. Ah. enough of that. I think that's everybody. Now I better make sure to top up my coffee again. So yeah, it is a clue. It's totally a clue. Um, and this is their, their little wellspring down here. I like these flowers. I, I think they're, they're, they're giant clover. So there's a fun, um, fun little trivia thing. I don't think it has anything to do with this clover down here, but, um, the um i i did a convention many years ago in sicily and uh there was a i i don't remember if i saved the bags but one of the local shops was quattrofolio because quattrofolio is um it's a four-leaf clover and i so i guess um you know and the the folio basically the word folio it just it's a leaf so, uh, so down there you have, I don't know, your trifolio. I don't speak Italian. I, I'm not sure what it would be. Um, there is our, our artifact in there. So we want this, um, we want this door up. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hmm. I want to do first. This one can do a couple of different things. Oh, oh, backer portrait. Oh, this is one of my favorite backer portraits. How romantic. Never forget your hat, Katherine Henderson. All right. Yes, it's very romantic. <laughs> So I just, in our defense, the picture sh that, that was sent to us did have her in a wedding gown. And so Phil just went wild with it. I love it. Um, so. Uh, let's see what's back here. Oh, oh, something to blow up. Something to explode. A boom. Well, so we didn't, um, Phil and I did not have the quotes when, um, we just had pictures, so we didn't actually know what their quotes were going to be when Phil was drawing the portraits. So he just kind of went ham with what we had. This is really interesting. I don't actually know 
what this is. Or... Uh, so if this actually is something that I can affect, I don't, I don't know what it is. So um, maybe I'll have to, to learn more. I can't, excuse me, I couldn't figure out what to do about it. Uh, let's send the dingbot through the mimeth hole. Maybe it's just up there to see. I'm nervous. Oh, I knew it. There he is. I was like, I'm nervous that there is a spider, and there is a spider. <laughs> Poor little spider. I have the most amazing spider outside of my house right now. Uh, like, outside of my kitchen window, there's this huge, huge orb weaver, and it, it's such a pretty one. Um... I figure I was very good and have been rewarded with this incredibly huge spider. All right, I guess that's just a window in here. I don't know. Don't you think that that's probably what's on the other side? Hmm. Maybe just to show us that it's there. Why, why did I do that? I don't know, because it's fun. <laughs> why did I do that? Why do I do anything? Um, you know, I could try to throw a bomb in there. I, I'm guessing it won't work, but that, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, let, let's find out. Let's try. Why not? Um, okay, the, I think the question might be, can anyone, can someone who's good at throwing bombs throw a bomb in there as opposed to, can I throw a bomb in there? <laughs> Hmm, it doesn't seem to be happening, does it? Well, if somebody figures out um, a little more about it, definitely let me know. Um, yeah. Um, oh, no! <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe it's a way to take out the spider. I think it... Yeah. I cannot tell. I cannot tell. Anyway, we um we got our treats, right? Yeah, we did. Um... Oh, those are such cute emotes. Yeah, let's find out. Let's check them out. Good question. Hmm. Ugh. Sorry, I am so clumsy with the map. Um. It sure looks like... Oh, it looks like it could be something, doesn't it? Um, all right, Dingbot, one more try. I know, what is this logic? Um, I think that that little taily bit is just a place that Dingbot can go, and it looks like Dingbot can't go any farther. Hmm... No, I, okay. So like I said, if anybody figures it out, definitely drop me a line uh, and tell me. But I can't really figure anything out easily there. And I did spend some time a while back poking at it and trying to figure it out. Uh, oh, let's see what this one does. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ugh, come on. Hmm. I would like... Hmm. I would like... to... get all of the things lit up. Okay, so can this one go this way? Alright, so if I leave that one there... Hey, kiddo. Oh, you're not Victor. Hi there. 
No. What did Victor you bring me? Not bring cookies. What is this? Oh my gosh, I've got cookies. Oh, I share. I share cookies with chat. Oh, they're virtual cookies, though, so they're... Um, there's a squishable of an undead Christmas tree. That's a little weird. Mm. Hmm. That'll keep me quiet for a minute. Oh, more Dingbot place. Oh, oh, Dingbot puzzle. Ooh, and treasure. It's treasure. Oh, hello, Percy. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, you know what, Percy? If Lord Percy Percy is going to grace us with his presence, he has to say hello to chat. So, all right, I'm going to be nice and not hold you up like a, a meanie. Here we go. Here he is. Here is Lord Percy Percy. Oh, and he wants to know why I am waving him at the camera. Mm instead of giving him my food. And the answer is because chocolate chips are not good for cats. No. All right, well, now I have a helper. So. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yes, he is a very pretty boy, which is good because he's dumb as a post. Aren't you? You should have been orange. Yes. Oh, but he's very sweet. This is one of the two lads who was born under a barn and, um, and thus is convinced that everything wants to eat him. Uh, he also was taken from his mom a little too soon because that was when uh, the friends who brought him to me were, were leaving the farm and it was then or never, apparently. So, uh, so yeah, so we've got these two and uh, the other one is Bobo and he is half his brother's son. Well, no, he's about, he's not as small anymore. When they were small, he was half his brother's size and uh, clearly the runt to the point where the vet was like, these two are from the same litter? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, what a good lad. Yes, you are. Oh. Alright. He's mad, though, because, I don't know, I'm play paying attention to the controller instead of him, I guess. That's probably what's going on. Alright, so let's see. Alright, that's fine, but I want to open that door. Um, ah! So, we have the, the door forward open. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, no, it didn't work. Uh-oh. What? Okay, so it isn't just get them all... This is probably where, oh, I see, no. Hmm. This is probably where following the poem would actually be a sensible choice. Except that would mean that I'd have to go like, write it down and think about it and I don't know. I, I'm just, ah. Thinking is hard. <sighs> Eating cookies is easy. Ow, ow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, these are our, these are my two black cats. I used to have a third, um, but um, he left us some time ago. More's the pity. And that was Igor, and he was a very good cat too. Mm. I can't seem to get up there. Can I get up here? Probably. Hmm. 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 All right. Now, is this 
Dang it! No! Hmm. It's a good thing I like this music. <laughs> The, the yummy treats over there. All right. Uh. <sighs> Let's see. blue light thingies, huh? Okay. That's good. That means that I can go back and upgrade my wrench properly, which I definitely want. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Those stairs. Ah. Hmm. Alright. I am very close. I am very close. I can feel it. in my lap. Alright. Did that do it? Did that do it? I think it did it. You could have followed my riddle, you know. I mean, you don't have to like flail around and. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, so. What did you say about the sun and the moon and the um, and the lazy, lazy person who should? Totally follow the hints. Uh, I think I I think I missed a goodie basket up there too. Um, fine. <laughs> like a pudding bag full of knives. Sing, sing, what shall I sing? The cat has bitten the pudding string. Do, do, what shall I do? The cat has bitten it quite in two. Oh, come on. There. Alright. Hmm. Well, I thought I saw... A nice blue thing that I wanted up here, but I might have. Oh yeah, here it is. I, I was not imagining it. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm trying to open that door back there. Hmm. Oh wait. Looks like there's 
Is there even anything for me to aim this one at? No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's put this one. Put this one back where it came from. Put that thing back where it came from. Hmm. Hmm. What if I do this one? so clumsy with these circular things. There we go. Aha! No, not aha. No aha. Ugh. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Fine, I'll go back and read the clue again. Okay, first there was light, fully woven, fully bright, dusk soon calm, okay. And then dawn. that's a clue for going ahead. I don't think that's a clue for getting the extra. Hmm. Well, let's see. How many of these things do we have? It's worth doing. I know that. So this one can only be in two places. Oh, bye Percy. He's sick of my poking around. This one doesn't seem to point at anything. I mean, this one only seems like it can point at the one. Hmm. Hmm, I should think of something to talk about. Hmm. I'm a little bit...
I should not have been distracted by cookies. <laughs> mm. So this one only has one thing it can point at, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, thank goodness it's a pretty location, right? Thank goodness the music's good, too. making it easy on me. Well, I can't even get to that one unless I have that door open. So this has to be the last one that I affect. Or at least it's not a bad idea if it is. I'll sit here and eat cookies at everybody. It's got to be gross. At least I don't have my face right up in the microphone. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm being a dope. to Well, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I pushed the button wrong. Hmm. Oh, Phil did not bake these cookies all the way through. They're very, very raw. So that one. All right. I would have sworn I'd already tried this, but I'm going to try it again. Leave that one there. Mm. 
Ugh, I only write about terribly clever people. That's always my excuse. <laughs> well, I feel like, um, I feel like elaborate puzzle rooms in, are, are, they feel to me very pulp. Like, um, there, okay, I, I, but I had this! Oh, well, whatever, it's fine. No, I'm, uh, I guess I didn't, or I, I mm. Well, can't complain. Um, but you can see... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I must have... Um, I must have got it off kilter just a little. Because I saw the pink... Um, I saw the pink beam arrive. Um, so... Oh, the pink bead showed up. It was there. Hmm. Uh, I'm off. Yeah. Why, so I am. There we go. Okay. I guess that's why I um, thought I had tried this before and then was like, oh, it didn't work. Okay. There, now we've got the purple beam and the door should be open. I thought that the, okay. What confused me was I thought I had already done this and then the door wasn't open and I was like, oh, well, I guess that wasn't it. Yeah, okay, I'm just, I wasn't precise enough. All right, we found a yurt, <laughs> hooray! Lore discovered, and this would probably be the rebirth that they talked about. So let's check the lore. Oh, that was embarrassing. Uh, that was absolutely a case of I, I had had I had knew the solution, and then was like, oh, but I tried that, and it didn't work. So it must have been something different. Oh. Hmm. I tend to be a very sloppy player. Uh, so here we go. We found another artifact. We found the yurt! A dream and a secret wish hidden deep within the castle. This portable shelter is favored by the Mongol hordes. While the Heterodynes found plenty of inspiration in their ruthless tactics, the castle itself was deeply enamored with the shape of their homes. The simplicity, elegance, and portability might seem primitive considering the vast intelligence and variety of systems the castle is in charge of. But who are we to judge a dream? Hey, yurts are cool. All right. So yes, the castle was like, yurts, they're awesome, wee! Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, I feel like the, um, I feel like the weird, um, the weird puzzle rooms are very, very pulpy, um, and, I mean, we definitely saw them in, in, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and, uh, and, you know, I haven't read as much pulp as I would like to have because frankly a lot of it is terrible actually even if um even if it's got great stuff in it or even if it's such a great genre a lot of it was written and the folks writing it were being paid by the word and oh my gosh some of, i mean like like i love doc savage i love the idea of doc savage i love the concept i love almost everything about doc savage but golly trying to read doc savage is painful the 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 writing is it's bad. It's just bad. But the idea is great and the character is great. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. What's through this door then? Ah. We are... Hmm. Oh, we're in the Great Movement Chamber Well Shrine. And here is... Ah, a nice place. Before we go any farther... Let's go back up to, uh-oh, um, excuse me, my phone is tickling me in my pocket, um, oh, it's my mom, um, oh, God, I love my mom, um, I will let her know that I am in the middle of something, she, she knows I am, 
Um, hang on a second. Gotta gotta text mom. Um, let's just uh, hold on. Mammoth interlude. Um, So first things first, let's go back to the hub and see if we can go back to the hub and see if we can up, uh, upgrade anything, really. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it is almost time. Yeah, everything, uh, everything's cool. Yeah, there's Alan Quartermain. Um, we we definitely draw a lot of um, we draw a lot of our inspiration from some of the old pulpy stuff. I mean, I think that's probably obvious. Uh, let's see. I mean, if you're gonna run around with ancient god queens, oh, finally! Yes, my head is still ringing. Agatha has managed to increase the power of her sprocket wrench to by simply adding a small module inspired by the concept of folding a piece of paper more than seven times. Yes, good. And now my um, my wrench will hit harder. And ooh, ooh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna grind a little more for all that good stuff. And then um, oh, we're very close to upgrading everything, actually. I don't think that the castle really wants to be a yurt, but I think the castle probably um, loves the idea of, uh, of traveling a little bit, and so the fact that it has a little clank that it can run around in now is, is probably very good. Ah, the self-satisfied grin of plunder. I assume you have artifacts for me, my lady. It's not plunder if it technically belongs to me. Ugh, let me have this, mistress. Sure. I bring forth the spoils of war. All right. So now I have upgraded everything else. I can start to upgrade my health, which yeah, that'll be handy later when I, I get a little farther. And then we should go find the yurt. It will be, first visit the Jaeger plushie. Oh, it's so cute. I can't get too close or the eyeball pops up and I can't look at it properly. There. All right, where is the yurt? Where it is it? Where? There it is. Yurt. Oh, you found that, did you? What is this? Only the ultimate perfection in the realm of portable housing. No stairways or windows. Imagine, I could finally travel. Ah, no kidding. There we go. Well, if the game does well enough, maybe they'll be, uh... uh maybe they'll be into the idea of making merch. That would be really fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, where was I? I was, oh, I was down below in the well shrine. Okay. Now we have a stronger wrench, which is good because I'm going to want it. Hmm. this. This stone marks the spot where Igneous Heterodyne was last seen, enveloped by blue flame and blinded by the light of infinite knowledge. This serves as a lesson to drink responsibly. Pfft. Okie dokie. 
<laughs> Let's see what the lore has to say about this one. Hmm. Come on, it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Igneous heterodyne. Many of the heterodynes were made infamous by the powers of the dine. Knife drank from the spring and gained superhuman vigor that laid the groundwork of their great house. Vlad used the river to create the Jaeger monsters. Faustus spun the powers into the mechanical monster now known as Castle Heterodyne, and Igneous, he had a bit too much to drink and was erased from this plane of existence. You could say he's the cracked egg of the Heterodyne omelet, but that would be a rather silly thing to say. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's, I, I have to. I have to check something really quickly. I have to find out if um those little squiggly things in the corner are okay. Not quite. They're they kind of echo the website, but they don't. They're not exact. They're very pretty. Um, uh, just double checking the graphic design because I'm nosy. <sighs> it's kind of a miracle that there aren't, like, ghosts or anything wandering around, although we haven't spent a lot of time in... Ah! We haven't spent a lot of time in Castle Heterodyne. We've spent a lot of time in Castle Heterodyne, but, um... But we certainly haven't seen everything that's there. Uh, let's see. There was a chicken. I, I just heard it go boom. I heard it go walk a boom. Um. Ah, did you hear that? It's up top. I, I think it, it just. Hmm. Let's see. trying to figure out if there's anything else I can do up here. I can go around the corner and I can break these things that go, ooh, and there's some, there's some more materials over here. So, so ghosts are only a thing in, um, as far as I know, un unless it's funny. I mean, all, all bets are off, um, if something's funny, but, um, but... And for a long time, we used to say, no, there are no vampires. There are no vampires in Girl Genius. Um, uh, Dame Edith is just nuts. She's just nuts. Um, but I, I don't know. Ah! All right. Uh, so here's this thing. And it wants to smash me. Ah, and that's also very cool, but we'll come back to it in a minute. Um, okay. Hmm. Dingbot? And... Whee! I like the tiny little lanterns. It's like a, it's a little dingbot-sized lantern. Oh, wow, well, that doesn't do me any good. Um, okay. Agatha has to help out here. Hmm. Uh. Uh. So anyway, yeah, we used to say, oh no, there's no, 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 uh, vampires, but... Um, the thing you have to keep in mind is that if, um, something exists in fiction, somebody's going to decide to try to build it. And, um, uh, so you see Martellus with his, with his, um, uh, basically, yes, they're werewolves, uh, but, you know, because of the spark, right? Uh, so I think, um, there was... Somebody at TPU that never made it, hasn't made it into the stories yet, although absolutely will make it into the stories if I, um, if I get a chance to, oh dear, um, if I, if I ever get a chance to do that, that TPU dating sim that I, I so very much want to write, 
um, because I think it would be very funny. Um, I oh, come on. Uh, one of the characters absolutely has to be somebody who um, accidentally separated their uh, their corpus from their their spirit and. Um, is, is running around in, insubstantial because I think it would be a fun character to write. Uh, and I don't even know what um, Hector's deal is in in the librarian story. Hector's just a, Hector's just an idiot. <laughs> but there's something going on with him. But you know, it, it wasn't important to the story, so it didn't come up. He's a bard. They, they have special abilities. Ah, come on. You know, the, here, this is another one of those things where the first time I did this, I just did it. I just did it. I didn't think about it. I just did it. And now I'm like, why is this so hard? I, I had no trouble with this the first time I did it. And now I, I can't seem to manage it again. Uh, you just have to hit it yeah, there we go there we go you have to hit it just right and then you have to dive really quickly uh. oh did he get me oh he got me oh no oh no oh two of them too but there's a dingbot sergeant in there. He's, um... There's a dingbot sergeant and... Uh, <laughs> I just, I just want to write a dating sim. All right, I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> I, think, I think they're so funny. <laughs> And I know, I know that there are these things you can get, mm, these things you can get that make it, I, I won't say easy. Easy is not the word I want, but, but codable, codable is the word I want. It is a thing that could be done. It would not necessarily be easy, but. All right, look at that. So this guy there there because that guy saw me and then his friend didn't i can come over here ha you're so cute all right hey sergeant sergeant clumsy oh poor sergeant clumsy who named you oh no don't stand in the fire dingbot it's bad for you Sergeant Clumsy. Okay. Hmm. And now we'll come back here. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, there, that's better. Now, before I go back to Agatha. Hmm, oh. oh, that doesn't do me any good. All right. Hmm. Now, this is another place that I was, like, pestering the devs because I thought... I thought it was a bug because I couldn't let the dingbot loose, and it turns out, well, I couldn't let the dingbot loose because there were still some enemies around, and I didn't understand that. But you can't actually turn the dingbot loose unless, um, uh, you, you can't actually turn the dingbot loose unless the, there, are, unless it's safe. So. Alright. So I could see that there were these holes, but I couldn't put the dingbot down. 
And this is so funny, I want to push it. I want to push it over the edge, but I can't. Because I am a wee dingbot, and I have not the strength. <laughs> I think, uh... Alright, so this is just a, a, a little special area. So, so many of these things are, op are optional, but, you know, I like to do them. And anyway, the whole point of this playthrough is to get all the things. Okay, here I go. And we're starting to see big, weird roots and plant things. Okay, that's where Dingbot came in and pulled the lever. Every time that happens, I think I'm going to get hurt. The warning clay, uh, warning thing happens anymore. I'm not sure. Hmm. So there's some stuff down there. I wonder if I can get it. Oh, I've been here already. Hmm. There's the coffee and engine. So that's where I came in. Was I down there? I was over there. Is there any reason I want to be down there? <laughs> yeah, the chicken clanks and the dingbots are friends, but um, I don't think that means that Agatha is safe from them. Think, well, I think I might be able to get down there. Hmm. Okay, so... Huh. Alright, bear with me while I explore a little bit. Um, because I feel like there's something I'm missing. Ugh. I can't do anything about that as far as I know. Uh, although it doesn't like the blue zappy thing. Okay, so over there is... No? Yeah, that. Over there is where I... Maybe that's a different area. around here. Okay, I think maybe I can get over there from a different way. I'm not sure. I have an idea. Hmm. Yeah, alright, so that is... Let's take a look at the map. Hmm. Like I said, I got pretty lost at one point. Uh, there was a, um, in one of my playthroughs, there was a point where there was one, oh crazy. Uh, that didn't work, well that was worth a try. Uh, upgrading that. So that the uh, power lantern charges faster was definitely useful. Hmm. Well, we'll go through. We'll go through the, the room and because I think it winds around a little bit. Yeah, here we are back in the great movement chamber. You can see we were down there before, but now we're up in an area that we weren't able to get to. Um, 
And we have to run through here. Oh my goodness, I've gone past nine. Uh-oh. Um, all right, let me hit a good stopping point. I see that big water wheel. It looks like it's blocked by some rubble. And there it is. All right, well, this seems like a good stopping point. Um, I should find a path down to that area and clear the rubble that's blocking the wheel. Yes, you should. But maybe we'll do that next week since it's getting kind of late and I still have to make some phone calls. So, uh, but first let's blow this thing up. Hmm. Okay. That was just a rock. It was just there. Um, so I wonder if I pause here. All right, I will pause. I will stop at the next place that I get an auto save. How's that? Um, which might be ouch right here. Let's see. No, it didn't save. Um, hmm. All right. We will. So there's a, a feature in um, Breath of the Wild where you can like pop back to wherever your last um, save point was. But we don't have that here. We actually have to kind of take the long way. So I'm going to run back. So I will be back next Wednesday. Um, I'm also trying to think of, I've got a couple of other things that I want to do. Um, it's in honor of Halloween, and I just came back here, didn't I? Um, oh, did it save? It did save while I wasn't looking, didn't it? Ah, there we go. All right, cool, cool. Well, then, I am going to exit to the main menu and say, Ooh, say thank you, everyone, for coming, and uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, next week I'll be back and we will uh, free the Great Movement Chamber and see what happens next. There's still a bunch to go uh, and this is lots of fun so I, I'm having a very good time um, and I'll try to get those next few um, emotes filled in. I think we need coffee, tea, and lore uh, and I can also now, uh, I saw that I can do some free emotes um, which I guess I'm, I'm able to be trusted with free emotes now uh, and also um, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Uh, there's some other stuff that Twitch is like, you can do this thing. And I'm like, that's really cool. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'll, I'll see what I can learn. Um, take care and I will um, see you next week. <laughs> have a wonderful week, everybody.